The Khan fifth generation fighter jet program, led by Turkish Aerospace Industries TUSAS, continues progressing through a structured development, test, and pre production phase that began in earnest in the late 2010s and has significantly accelerated since 2023. It is the most complex and ambitious indigenous aircraft program in Turkey's history, aiming to achieve technological independence in air combat capabilities and establish the nation as a serious aerospace manufacturer on the global stage. The aircraft, formerly known as TFX, was rebranded as Khan in May 2023 during a formal unveiling event. This designation symbolizes the project's transition from concept and research into full-scale flight testing and production readiness. The Khan is designed to be a twin-engine, low-observable, multi-role combat aircraft with full fifth-generation features, including internal weapons bays, stealth shaping, network data fusion, and integrated electronic warfare capabilities. Since the first prototype, referred to as P-0, achieved its maiden flight on February 21, 2024, the program has moved forward with increased momentum. The successful flight marked a critical turning point, as it demonstrated that the airframe, flight control systems, and basic avionics had matured sufficiently for airborne testing. The aircraft performed takeoff, basic maneuvering, and landing maneuvers without issue. P-0 continues to be used for flight control validation and early flight envelope expansion. It also serves as a pathfinder for feedback that influences later prototypes. The second prototype is being assembled with revised components, including optimized engine intakes for improved airflow and radar cross-section reduction, as well as structural improvements based on lessons learned from P0. It is expected to be ready for taxi and initial flight trials by the end of 2025. Subsequent prototypes P2 through P5 will enter production on a staggered schedule and will be allocated for specialized roles, one for avionics testing, one for structural load testing, one for weapons integration testing, and others for mission system validation. Each prototype will play a key role in the comprehensive development program leading to full rate production. Khan's avionics and sensor systems are being developed by multiple local defense technology companies under coordinated government programs. The primary radar system is an active electronically scanned array AESA, called MURAD, developed by Aselsan. It is capable of tracking multiple air and ground targets simultaneously and is intended to provide long-range situational awareness in contested environments. It has already undergone flight testing on a modified Bombardier Global 6000 testbed and is expected to be integrated into Khan test aircraft in the coming months. In addition to radar, the aircraft will incorporate Advanced Infrared Search and Track IRST, Electro-Optical Targeting Systems EOTS, and an Integrated Defensive Electronic Warfare Suite. The helmet-mounted display system HMD, under development will allow pilots to cue weapons and sensors with head movement and receive real-time targeting data projected directly into their field of vision. These systems are all designed to work in harmony through sensor fusion software that provides the pilot with a unified, high-confidence view of the battlespace. This data fusion capability is a hallmark of fifth-generation aircraft and is essential for high-threat modern combat environments. On the propulsion side, the Khan prototypes are currently powered by two F-110 GE-129 engines supplied under license from General Electric. These engines offer reliable and mature thrust suitable for early testing, but they are not the long-term solution for the production variants of the aircraft. The goal of the program is full propulsion independence. To that end, TEI, TUSA's engine industries, is developing a domestic engine, the TF-35000. This turbofan engine is expected to deliver approximately 35,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner and is specifically designed for fifth-generation fighter requirements. The design phase for the TF-35000 engine was completed in 2025, and the manufacturing of the first prototype engine has begun. Ground testing of this prototype engine is scheduled to start by the end of 2025, with flight testing to follow in the early 2030s, the indigenous engine is not expected to be integrated into operational Khan fighters until after 2032. Until then, Block 10 and possibly Block 20 aircraft will rely on the F-110 powerplant. Block 10 aircraft will represent the first production standard version of Khan. Deliveries are targeted to begin by the end of 2028. These jets will possess baseline operational capabilities, including stealth shaping, integrated sensors, networked communications, and multirole combat ability. The first batch will consist of 10 aircraft delivered to the National Air Force, with operational testing and pilot training to follow. These early units will serve as the foundation for full-scale Air Force adoption. Beyond domestic service, 
Khan has attracted significant international interest. In June 2025, a formal agreement was signed to deliver 48 Khan fighters to another nation over a 10-year period, including training and local industrial involvement. This marks the program's first confirmed export and is seen as a major milestone in establishing its long-term viability and financial sustainability. Other countries have expressed interest and are in various stages of discussions about future cooperation, joint production, or procurement. The manufacturing capacity at TUSAS is being expanded to support increased production volume by the late 2020s, new hangars, final assembly lines, component production facilities, and testing infrastructure are under construction or recently completed. The facility is being designed to accommodate production rates of up to two aircraft per month by 2030 if demand and logistics support it. The Khan program is designed with a modular and future-oriented architecture. This allows it to support software-defined upgrades, improved stealth materials, integration with unmanned aerial systems, artificial intelligence-assisted decision-making tools, and digital twin simulations for lifecycle support. Long-term planning envisions Khan evolving into a flexible platform capable of supporting both manned and optionally manned operations, with increased autonomy in certain mission sets. The broader strategic aim of the program is to establish an indigenous aerospace ecosystem that is capable not only of producing fifth-generation fighters but also of supporting their life cycle, upgrading them over decades, and providing a technological base for future sixth-generation development. As of July 2025, the program is broadly on schedule. Prototype testing continues to deliver valuable flight data, industrial partners are maturing their subsystems for integration, and the transition to limited serial production in 2028 remains on track. The development of an indigenous engine, sensor suite, mission software, and electronic warfare package is progressing under coordinated national oversight. Export momentum and industrial infrastructure growth also support the long-term sustainability of the project. With sustained investment, Khan is positioned to become a cornerstone of future national airpower capabilities and a competitive fifth-generation option on the international market.